Hey, it's a preacher. And I'm in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia, just off of I-81. I've stayed over tonight in Lexington, Virginia. And Lexington, Virginia was the last home and burying place of uh, General Stonewall Jackson. And his monument is here and his grave is here in the Jackson Memorial Cemetery. It used to be called the Presbyterian Cemetery, but it's the Jackson Memorial Cemetery. There are a number of other Civil War generals buried here, some of his staff, many of the men who trained in the Virginia Military Institute, and <clears throat> that institute's still in operation today here in Lexington. Many people call it the West Point the West Point of the South. Robert E. Lee is also buried here. He's buried under the chapel pulpit at Washington and Lee College. And um, I'm not gonna go to the chapel and see his, his uh, grave, but I'll show, you, um, I'll show you Jackson's grave. Stonewall Jackson was known for eating lemons in battle. And uh, their tradition lives on today. There's always lemons with a bite taken out of them at the foot of his monument. I want to take a minute and tell you why I admire Thomas Jonathan Stonewall Jackson so much. Not just because he was a general in the Southern Army, in the Northern Army of Virginia, and he fought for state rights. I mean, I don't want this to be an issue about slavery. Uh, I'm glad that we freed slaves in America, and uh, I would have advocated for that regardless. But my, my beef with the Civil War was state rights, federal overreach, those sort of things, which we're dealing with today. But I want to tell you why I like Stonewall Jackson. He was known for his courage and his bravery, his unflinching bravery in battle. And it wasn't because he was confident in his leadership or confident in his soldiers. He attributed his courage in battle to his belief in the absolute sovereignty of God. And he believed that he was doing what God had appointed him to do. He believed that he was to be a, a, a soldier in the army and that he was to lead men in battle. And that's what God had, had created him to do, trained him to do. And so he was merely doing what God had appointed him to do, and he believed that God was sovereign over all the events of his life. So if you do what God's called you to do, you can trust that everything will work out according to God's plan. And if that means you're living, or that means you're dying, he trusted all that to God, knowing that he wouldn't die a day early or a day late. That kind of confidence in the sovereignty of God is why Stonewall Jackson got the nickname Stonewall. And I think it's something we can learn from today. So if you're out here on I-81, you're going through Western Virginia, pull into Lexington. Uh, take a look at this great monument of Stonewall Jackson.